Doctor Doom, Dark Dimension 4, and the rest of the bombshells from the Marvel Strike Force 2020 roadmap. Yes, we're talking all about it in this video. I'm giving my reaction. And if you're ready for all of it, guys, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. I hope you are having a great day. We just had a awesome blog post drop on the official MarvelStrikeForce.com website, the roadmap for the rest of 2020, what we can expect in Marvel Strike Force. We're talking all about it in this video. There's a lot to cover, guys. So without further ado, Let's jump ahead to that blog post. All right, so probably the biggest news of this entire blog post, Doctor Doom, a playable version of Doctor Doom coming to Marvel Strike Force, released in Dark Dimension 4. We're definitely gonna talk about that in just a little bit. We're gonna go through this in chronological order, but super excited for this one right here. This is probably the top story. A playable version, not just a narrator of the Gamma Raids coming to Marvel Strike Force. All right. So this blog post starts off with a big new feature that has been discussed many times on this channel in the past. And if you want to check out a little more in depth for a review of ISO 8, make sure you check out the previous video I did. But this one kind of reiterates some of the things that we knew about before. There was a play test done back in October of 2019. There was one that was just recently finished up and they talked about the second closed beta that just recently wrapped up, provided them with valuable feedback and they hope to make this feature even better is what they're talking about in this blog post. Now, I think this was promising uh, what we saw before. A lot of the RNG from that initial version was taken out in that second version. Now. The second version is very, very grindy, and I hope some of the things that they want to address is to make it a little less grindy. But as I've said in the past, I am preferring a lot of grindiness to relying on pure luck because you, you could be a very lucky person and get stuff right away, or you could be very unlucky, and all that grindiness uh, is not gonna pay off. So I like that they've removed that. I, I'm looking forward to see what else they are looking to change, but I'm glad that they added these classes that they talked about where you have different classes of characters and you could freely rotate your characters between these different classes based on the matchup they're in, based on what you need in a team. So I like that it's uh, customizable. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to this feature and I'm looking forward to see what uh, is finally going to be added to the game once the final version is released. All right, real-time PvP. Uh, it is a very popular feature with some players and uh, not popular at all with other players. And the good thing here, the dev team has reviewed the results and feedback of this feature, and many players have stated that they would like a competitive version of real-time PvP. I think that'd be fun. Uh, the, the good thing here is they're announcing that they are announcing this real-time PvP competitive mode where there'll be actual rewards involved. And I think a lot of players, I know for myself, I, I was really a fan of this game mode. I still am a fan of this game mode. It's just the time and the rewards that you're getting it has, hasn't allowed me to play this as much as I wanted. So uh, now that they're adding rewards, I think this hopefully, hopefully this will make the real-time PvP even more popular than it is. I'm, I'm curious to see what the rewards are. I hope it's not too crazy that we're forced to play this game mode, but uh, it may not be a bad thing, especially with some of the blitz changes that they're talking about later in this blog post. All right, before the feature is released later this year, so it should be sometime in 2020. <laughs> uh, this is a 2020 roadmap. Yes, it should be sometime in 2020, right, guys? Uh, the team is trying to add a matchmaking button for the current uh, verse mode. The real-time ba battles, they love them, but one of the big things is about finding the opponents. The other thing is about actually picking and drafting your opponents. For example, we know that drafting is a lot of fun. It also takes longer than the actual battle, which is very true. And your actual PVP battle is a lot, that is, a lot of it is determined by drafting. So uh, there's some matches that I go in, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna win this just on the draft. And there's other matches that I'm in it. After a couple of picks, I'm like, oh, I I've lost this battle already just on the draft. So the good thing that they're mentioning here, they're looking at ways to streamline the drafting process or make it absent altogether. So pretty good thing. I, I think one of the, the big thing about this mode is time and the draft, the time that the drafting takes. So I'm, I'm liking that they're at least addressing this. I'm not sure what they're eventually going to do, but it, it is, it's good that they're at least aware of uh, some of the issues, the time issues with this game mode. I, like I said before, I think it's a very fun game mode, but the time for me is the big thing. All right, big news, guys. Dark Dimension 4 
coming this is this is probably the biggest news for me dr doom here not just a narrator anymore a playable version of dr doom now uh i'm not finished with dark dimension 3 yet i know a majority of the player base is not finished with dark dimension 3 but requirements for dark dimension 4 start getting your gear tier 15 ready i think uh all of us knew eventually this day would be coming gear tier 15 officially announced today though and uh yeah start getting it ready because the prize for dark dimension 4 this guy right here dr doom uh, they're going to be adding more gear tier 14 pieces or those superior pieces, those orange gear pieces in a new story campaign. And what is that new story campaign? I think this is big news in itself. We don't know his kit. We don't know a lot of his synergies, but I think a lot of people were suspecting Dr. Doom would rotate and as that fifth member of that Fantastic Four team in place of Namor and make them viable in other game modes. Not sure if that's still what the plan is. We don't know his kit. It may have changed several times since we've uh, heard about that over a year ago, but I'm curious to see what is gonna happen with Dr. Doom. Let me know in the comments, what are you wanting from Dr. Doom and what are you expecting from Dr. Doom? There is a difference. A right, new story campaign. It's not in detail what is uh, coming in this new story campaign, which is which uh, campaigns are being added. But earlier this year, they added a new campaign to a new chapter to the heroes, villains, and the Nexus campaign. So maybe the cosmic, maybe the mystic is next. It would make sense, and it would give us more nodes to farm characters. Yes, that's that's one of the things that I think that that first roadmap did address very well was making these characters farm. But pretty much everything in that first initial roadmap was addressed except for the blitz and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit that that is addressed down here in this blitz section down here as we scroll down but the new campaigns i'm, I'm looking forward to it uh there's they started going to be adding more superior gear pieces as well uh the mini uniques is going to be added as well so this this is very promising i think that's a big bottleneck for players right now those superior unique pieces those uh those big ones that are hard to get i think the the bottleneck on that has eased up a little bit but the main bottleneck right now is this mini unique pieces so i'm curious to see what is going to be the bottleneck for gear tier 15 because it has to be something guys what do you think that bottleneck is going to be to getting to gear 15 maybe it's some more new unique pieces or maybe it's just the quantity of these pieces i'm not sure what is going to happen more gear tier more tier challenges the challenges the daily challenges two additional tiers are being added sometime this year and i think uh, that that is also something that was uh we know is eventually going to happen in this game down the road especially when they fixed some of these challenges that were broken they said for uh these future challenges to make sure that that road that ramping up process is not too steep uh so we knew this was happening and uh, it looks like it's happening later this year gear uh, raid difficulty selector for the greek race this was added earlier for ultima 7 and ultima 6 but now it looks like they're going to be adding it sometime this year to alpha beta and the greek raids for bigger challenges but the more important thing right here guys better rewards and hopefully they're they're allowing us to use some of these new teams because one of the complaints i saw on reddit with these greek raids is that it's not allowing us to use these newer teams like the x-men like these young avengers that just came to the game so hopefully they'll go back and look at the trade requirements of some of these raids and uh, allow us to use uh, some of our shiny new teams all right audio sound effects some other uh, changes coming to the game uh, I'm glad they're adding this. I've seen a lot of players complaining about the sound not working. Personally, for me, most of the time, I am playing without the sound, so this is not something I've noticed personally, but I know a lot of players do play with the sound, and when it's not working, very, very annoying. So I'm glad they are looking towards this. I'm not expecting all of them to be fixed. Uh, there, there seem to be a lot of bugs in this game, but I'm, I'm glad. Kind of like the other thing. I'm glad they're at least aware that they have issues. All right, Blitz. This is, this is another big thing because... Of all the stuff they talked about in that early roadmap for the beginning part of 2020, the only thing that they did not fully address is these blitz changes. They did add that button that you could scroll through your save squads with just that click of a button. But other than that, not really addressing the blitz changes. So let me read this whole thing. While Blitz is a great mode to flex the might of your entire roster, and that is one of the reasons I like Blitz mode. There's several parts we would like to confuse, or uh, improve, not confuse, improve. <laughs> First, we're updating and flattening the reward structure for Blitz. Rank rewards have had less variance in how many shards players in the top brackets will earn. Players in the top percentile brackets will earn more shards than they currently do. So it's a good thing. The top percent is going to be earning more, but I guess they're flattening the rewards. So some of the bottom tiers are also getting some of the rewards. Uh, I think that that will help to make it less grindy if you don't have to get to that top 2000 just to unlock the character. If you could do it at the top 
three to five percent. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with it, but I think that will be very, very favorable uh, towards the players. All right, second, to give more players more flexibility in their day, we're limiting the number of refreshes each character, number of free refreshes each character can get in a 24 hour period. This is big. So this means that you don't have to do it every six hours. You could do it every, I don't know. I don't know how many refreshes, free refreshes you're gonna get, maybe three, maybe five. But this is something that I've been calling for for a while. Uh, other people in the community have been calling for this as well. I don't, I'm not the first one that's been calling for this, but this is big. This, this, this potentially, depending how many free refreshes we get, this potentially could eliminate blitz bots and allow them to sell more of that blitz currency that people use. So I, it, it's, I think it's a win for Scopely and it's a win for the players as well. I, I like this change. Third, we're revisiting our point calculations to significantly increase the value of winning matches. So more points per match, I think that's a good thing and somewhat reduce the points earned for taking on extremely powerful opponents. So I guess uh, what, what I'm interpreting this as, and maybe this is not the correct uh, case here, but uh, what I'm interpreting this as is uh, flattening out. So winning a match at 7.0, not be as different as winning a match at 8.3 in Blitz. Uh, you know, they, they actually, obviously they have to have some variance because you should get more rewarded for taking on more powerful opponents, but it sounds like it's not going to be as big of a gap. So it won't be as big of an issue if you drop down to tier eight or something. I'm not sure what the actual, actual scoring is going to be, but that is my initial interpretation of what is uh, here right now. And also looking for ways to reduce overall time spent in Blitz to allow you for Focus. Jeez, I am all over the map today with my pronunciation. Allow you to focus on other parts of the game. More info later to come. So I think this is the big thing. Reducing blitz time will allow players to still spend time in Marvel Strike Force, but not on something as grindy. Something that's fun. Not as much low quality time. Squad management. This is something big. Now, we did recently, within the past few months, get more save squads, but... You know, as you know, with characters being added all the time, eventually we're going to run out of these save squads as well. So squad management is going to be become very, very uh, important. Now, one of the things that is, is uh, important is having specific tags, being able to search for that in the squad selection screen, not just in a main roster management screen. So uh, this is something that they're going to add. I think this can severely reduce the amount of save squads that we would need. So I think this is a good feature. And I'm not sure what the problem is with save squads, why it's taking so much resources for them to add things. But uh, if they're adding these search features uh, using tags, I think that could uh, reduce our need for having as many save squads as uh, as often as we do. Uh, they're been implementing some sort of uh, the ability to sort characters in the uh, selection squad by the end of the year. I, I hope this is sooner rather than later, guys. All right, so and last but not least, Wolverine as the daily log. And so back when I went to Fox Next offices back in September of 2019, one of the things, one of the many things that they said they want to do is change out the daily login character from Wolverine to something else. Because as you know, if you've been playing this game for a little while now, you should have Wolverine at seven stars. So every shard of Wolverine is just going to that Ultimate store, that, that new Ultimate store that's going on. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we'll be updating the all clear objective to identify players that have Wolverine at seven stars. So this is a good thing. I'm, I'm liking that they're not taking Wolverine away from the newer players because he is a very popular character. Even though he's not the best character in this game, I know he's a very popular character in, uh, in the entire Marvel universe. And if they do, they're going to reward a different type of resource. I think that is very, very promising. So wondering who this will be. Maybe it's not a character. Maybe it's just a resource. Maybe it's orange gear. I don't know. What do you think this will be? Maybe it's power course. What do you think this new resource will be? I don't know. It's, it's hard to see. It doesn't say a new character. It does say a new type of resource. So maybe my thinking is wrong and having it be a different uh, character there. But uh, yes, what do you what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments, guys. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, more to come. They're they're looking to get more uh, changes for the rest of 2020. But that's pretty much it in this blog post, guys. What was your favorite part of it? There's so much to be excited for in this blog post, in my opinion, guys. Wolverine being replaced, Blitz changes, Doctor Doom, and uh, I'm kind of mixed about Guard Dimension Four, guys. The gear tier 15. Sounds kind of scary. I'm not even finished with all my characters at gear tier 14, or at least my main characters at gear tier 14. So uh, I like that it's going to be less grindy with some of the new missions coming up as well. But I want to hear from you. I want to hear what your favorite part of this road ahead, this map for 2020 is, guys. And if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, smash on the like button, join the notification squad so you get notified every time a new video is released on this channel. And there are going to be at least four 
Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. Most of the time, it's more per week, but at least minimum of four per week. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys check me out on social media and check out some of the links down below that support the channel. Blue Stacks, Worldwide Nutrition, all that good stuff, guys. And make sure you join them in my Discord. I will see you guys next time. Give me a Hulk fist bump before you go. Valley Flying, out.